autoresponder tutorial, how to create a list and how to send your email sequence. My name's Lee and this is my place on the World Wide Web. If you like what you see, please consider, consider even hitting that subscribe button. Now, if you do hit the subscribe button, jump down to the comment section below this video and write that you've uh, subscribed and I'll come on by and say hello. In addition to that, if you would like to get hold of my free guide on affiliate marketing, in the uh, description below, there'll be a link where you can get hold, hold of that completely free uh, for my YouTube subscribers. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the autoresponder, um, setting up, creating your list, and also sending out that email sequence. Now, I believe that the uh, that every business should have an autoresponder, should have an email list, should be sending out emails, um, whether you're an online business, uh, or whether you're an offline business, because there's always that opportunity to market to your customers again. Okay, you've got a new product, you've got a new service. Okay, um, and if you have that direct channel with your customers, you can let them know. Okay, so you can increase their spend um, up in one go or bringing them back. Customers that you thought you'd lost, you can claw back into the business, okay? So it's incredibly important whatever your business is. So as I say, in this video, I'm just gonna show you um, how to create a list and then how to use the autoresponder feature, okay? So I'm gonna do this in uh, using a service called Aweber. And if you'd like to get a 30-day free trial to Aweber, uh, go to the description. I'll put a link down there so you can jump straight across and get those 30 days uh, free of charge. Okay, so let's just jump back in, jump into my screen, and we'll go through Aweber. Okay, so we've got Aweber here, and you can see that I'm logged in. Now, if you're a brand new, you've just signed up to Aweber, obviously you're not gonna have any of these stats. Um, you're not going to have a current list here at the top of the screen, okay? So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on Manage Lists, okay? And then you're going to click here and you're going to click the green button, which is Create a List. And straight away, we're into the Set Up Your List um, setup, okay? So what you can do here is you can choose your company name, so whatever that might be, then your company website, so whatever. You need to have a website, um, whatever you're gonna do, okay? For two reasons, and we'll jump into the second one in a, in a minute. We need that place on the web, and whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna be create. you're gonna want to have a website, you're gonna wanna have a home, even if it's just for advertisements, um, or whatever, you're gonna want that website. And obviously if you get a website, you're gonna have the opportunity to create an email address. So it's gonna be your name at your website, okay? Which is incredibly important, particularly when you're sending emails to your customers. Because if you send them from a Gmail account, a Hotmail account, whatever that may be, um, it's more likely to go into uh, the promotional, the spam, um, and it won't get into that main part of the inbox where people read, okay? So it's incredibly important to have a proper a business-like uh, email address, okay? So we've put in the email address. We then choose the uh, the address, which we, we will have put in previously, okay? And um, that's because when you send emails, it needs to have an address, a physical location of where the sender's from by law, okay? Uh, particularly in a number of uh, English-speaking countries um, to uh, comply with spam laws, okay? So you've set that up. You're now gonna put in the sender's name. So this is gonna be the name that they see when they receive the email. So when your customer receives an email, uh, the, the, it's gonna, that's what it's gonna say in the sender's name. So whether that's your your company, um, whether it's your name, whatever it may be, you need to put in a particular name there, okay? And then you need to have an email address, just exactly like what I spoke about. You need to have a proper email, and this is gonna be the email where if they click reply, 
they can reply to this email. This all has to work, okay? So we then click uh, next. We're now gonna describe the list, okay? So this is firstly for your own. So you're gonna be able to, within AWeb, you're gonna be able to create many different lists many different lists okay so it might be that it's the one business and you're creating different lists for different things so you may have a promotion you may release a new product and you you have you've brought in these customers um, via that new product and you want to segment them so that you can communicate with them in a different way to you the way that you communicate with different people. Or you may have a completely different business, but you're using your one AWeber account. That's the beauty of it, okay? So I'm just gonna put in YouTube example. The next section is briefly describe the emails your subscribers are going to receive. Now, here you need to put, you need to be, you need to think about this carefully because when a customer receive your email and they decide, you know what, uh, I'm not interested in receiving these e emails anymore. They're gonna have the opportunity to click the unsubscribe button. And that will take them to an Aweber page. And on the Aweber page, it will have the uh, an unsubscribe button, but it will say what the list is that you're you're on. And you have the, uh, you have the text here that describes what the list is. So here, you want to explain how the subscriber got onto your list, okay? And what the list is all about. Okay, because then they might read it and go, oh, actually, no, this was the list that I would need to stay on. Okay, so I'm just going to write that for, for now. And we then click the next step. Okay, so approve your confirmation message. When someone signs up to a list um, on an autoresponder, they will automatically be sent an email to confirm that they did it, okay? And it gives them the opportunity to confirm this, okay? So this is called a double opt-in. So they've they've already clicked confirm they want to subscribe to this, but they then receive a secondary email that explains to them, you've been added to this list, do you still want to be on this list, okay? Now, generally, I take this off. Okay, because it is another layer to filter people out. Now, some people will say this is important because the people that want to be on be on your list um, will go to that email, will read it, and will click confirm. But what I say is, what happens if this goes to the promotion? What happens if this goes to the spam box by accident? Okay, you've lost those people for good because they will not see the email. Okay, so what I say is always turn off. But when you're creating the list, you don't get the opportunity, first of all, and I'll show you how to do it once we've gone through this, okay? So here you go, a pre-proved subject, and you can select these uh, different pre-populated uh, templates. And as you can see, this is basically the example email that they will receive, um, and they can click on this link here, and it takes them to the AWA website, and they can just click confirm, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to click Approve and Create List. Right, so now you can see that my current list at the top of the page says YouTube Example. That's the list that I created. And you can flick through different lists. Okay, so when you've got that one selected at the top as your current list, all of these tabs now are associated with that list, okay? So the first thing I'm going to tell you is about that double opt-in. So you go across to list options, list settings, you click on list settings, and this gives us some options where we can change basically what we just did, the name, the description, all that sort of stuff. Now on the right hand side, we can click conf confirmation message. Okay. And again, we can edit this if we want to, but here you can say confirmation message settings. It says on here, and it says send confirmation message uh, for Aweber sign up forms. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to click that, and it says, Are you sure you want to turn off the confirmed opt in for sign up forms? Okay, so we're going to click yes, and we're then going to click save settings. And that says successfully save settings. So now anyone that we get to opt into our list, okay, will be opted in 
in that single uh, method. They put in their email address, they clicked submit or whatever they wanted to do and they're now on the list, okay? And they will start receiving the emails that we set up, okay? So uh, the next set, the next uh, stage is to set up those automatic emails, okay? Because this is the whole point of the, um, the package is that you have this list, you're driving people into that list, there could be any reason, making purchases, um, signing up for freebies, uh, any type of opt-in that you're doing, okay? And you're collecting those email addresses in exchange, and then they're gonna go into this cycle of emails, this series, where you're gonna be sending them emails. And the content of these, these emails uh, could be anything, okay? But that's out the size of the scope of this tutorial. So to set up these emails, we go to messages and we go down to legacy follow-up series. Gives us three options, the drag and drop email builder, plain text message, and the HTML editor. Now it's easy just to click on the drag and drop email builder and you'll see why in a sec. Okay. So this takes us into the email editing page. And to create any kind of email sequence, we need to create the very first email uh, before we do anything, okay? We can't set up the sequence without any emails. And you'll see when we hit the next stage. So you can see here, it's pre-populated it with uh, hi, first name, okay? Thanks for being a loyal email subscriber. We appreciate hearing from you. Let us know if you have any questions, blah, blah, blah. So the first thing what you want to do is put in a title for the very first for this email. Okay, so I'm just going to put in welcome email because it's the very first one. And then what I can do is you can see here, there's all these different things that I can do. I can highlight the text, change the font, da da blah, blah, blah. I can have all these buttons and videos and I can do all different types of cool things. Okay, I like to keep the emails as plain as simple as I can. Okay, because it it offers less things for Gmail to kind of move you across. It's just a nice plain email, possibly with a link that you're sending people to, to a product or a service or to your website, whatever it may be, okay? So anyway, I'm just gonna leave this exactly how it is because this is just for the tutorial, okay? And uh, well, one thing I would say is if you want to add a link, uh, you need to go up to this, this button here with a little link and you can click on that and you can add a link, okay? So that's superb. So I'm just gonna click save and exit and we'll get to the, the, the page where we can start adding these emails, okay? So, what we've got here is we've got this email that we've just created, okay? And that's just sitting there. It's not doing anything. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. So what we need to do is we need to click on the send options and go add to follow up series. And uh, you can see here, follow up is number one. Here's the welcome message to your subscribers and they'll get it immediately after signing up, okay? And that's it, All because this is the very first one, all we need to do is click add follow up series. And this is gonna take us to another page And we can see this is the follow-up sequence, okay? So welcome email, send immediately, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we, we want to build this out because that's one email, that's it. And then that's not gonna receive any email again unless we decide to send them a specific email. So if it's any type of day, we think, oh, I actually wanna send these people an, an email today, right? Which is in isolation. We just go up to messages and we go up to broadcast and we can compose an email, click send, and it will send directly that second to everyone on our list, okay? But at the moment, we're talking about the follow-up sequence. So when people do sign up to us, uh, they receive this sequence of emails that we put together, okay? So it might be training, day one, day two, day three. It may be a, sequence, a sales sequence, a funnel, okay? It may be anything, okay? So we're gonna click on create a message. We're gonna go down to the drag and drop email builder, this is going to take us exactly back to that uh, page that we were at. And again, what do we do? We, we come up with a name. So this is, uh, I'm just going to call it a second email. 
and I'm just gonna put in uh, some extra text just just for a bit of fun <laughs> so uh, you can you draft out your email whatever it's going to be and as usual we click save and exit and again we're at this page so we've got this email we've got what that email is we're then going to click on save options we're going to click add to follow-up sequence and this is where it's slightly different okay you can see now it says follow up number two it's sent one day after the previous okay one day after the previous so we can change this we might want it two days three days whatever okay so we can we can change the uh the frequency of it and then remember this will be this won't be a specific day this will be from when they subscribe so if one person signs up on a monday they receive that email on a monday then they receive the second one on the tuesday if someone signs up on a friday they get the first one on the friday the second one on the saturday example example so we're just going to leave that as one got some options here track the clicks on the website just leave that is uh, send messages based on subscribers time so we could change that and that will um, amend it to be more um, more congruent with the uh, the time of the person where they live, different part of the world, example. Okay, uh, so I'll just unclick that for now, and then we'll click Add to Follow Up Sequence. And this is going to take us back to the Follow Up Sequence page that we looked at just a few moments ago. And here we have. So as you can see now, you can see more clearly. Uh, the pattern of what is actually happening. So you've got the welcome email, which is sent immediately, and you can see the second email sent one day after the previous message. Okay. Now what I can do is I can then create a message, okay, and I can keep building these emails. So I can sit here uh, for the next hour and write a hundred emails. I know I know people that have got email sequences of over five hundred emails. So there's emails being sent every day for 500 days in a row. And you can imagine how that type of funnel uh, can keep sending people back to their websites, to their YouTube, to their shops, to new products, uh, whatever it may be, okay? So it's a really, really cool feature, okay? So just to, just to finish this up, I'm just gonna briefly talk about the other tabs. So the other tabs here is the subscribers tab, and this is where you're going to be able to manage your subscribers. Now, obviously, because this list doesn't have any subscribers, you can't see anything. But what it would usually do, it would list all the people who have been opted in. It will show you their email address and some statistics about them and their interaction with you. Okay, so you can decide whether you want to remove them from your list. Uh, because obviously, with Aweber and all of these services, you get paid depending on how many subscribers you have. So the more you have, the more expensive Aweber is. Okay. So the next section is the sign up forms. And this is where you can create um, small web pages where people can sign up to you. So you have some text and then uh, an input where someone can put their name and input where they can put in their email address and they can click submit. And it all connects through with Aweb, okay? You can also connect these sign up forms with other services, okay? other web builders, okay, other sales services, okay, so that they can, the connection of getting your email once they've done, once a customer or a viewer has done something, they you get their email account. And there will be another video on this page which is talking about high converting uh, landing pages, squeeze pages, and I'm specifically talking about how you can do that um, using this Aweber service, okay? So look out for that video. So really, that's the end of this video, okay? So we've talked you through Aweber and the autoresponder, how to create your list, how to create your sequence, and really how to set up Aweber. Now, as I said, if you wanna get going with a 30-day free trial, jump down to the description. There'll be a link to that uh, in the description. Likewise, it's also gonna be a link to my affiliate uh, free guide that you also may want to download. So I've been Lee, uh, it's been great talking to you, and I'll see you on the next video.